Hello, my name is Rex Basterfield, and this is an introduction to my Quilcom Rank. The Rank is a synthesizer which is designed and configured purely for one purpose, which is to create a Rank, which is a set of organ pipes. The idea is that you would use several instances of the VSTI plugin to create a uh, full organ sound. There are uh, 47 presets which give you some classic organ voicing sounds to be uh, starting with. Of course these are all adjustable and by combining several of these appropriately you can get quite uh, a big sound. You can, however, get quite a big sound by using the couplers I've provided, which is here. So if we take, uh, I don't know, principle three, this is it on its own. But if we couple for sub octave, plus octave, and twelfth, we get uh, a much bigger sound. A group of ranks is generally referred to as a division, and uh, typically a division, which could be several ranks of pipes, would be assigned to one manual on an actual uh, church or theatre organ. So here we can select from division one, two or three. Each division has its own uh, phase scrambling all-pass filters with a very slight comb filtering effect, giving the impression of coming from a different source, especially when pan slightly left or right, um, to give it its own unique character. You won't notice a lot of difference on one voice. <laughs> probably can't hear any difference there but when you mix it with other divisions then it comes into its own because you get less uh, phase cancellation of certain frequencies and uh, the effect is to give uh, a thicker more realistic sound. So now I'll discuss some of the technical aspects of the synthesizer sections. If you want to read more detail about these and the backgrounds to why they're done the way they are, then there's a user guide included in the download which goes into much more detail about the operation of the uh, controls as well. I experimented a lot with various uh, sound generating techniques and I settled on one which uses uh, physical modelling for the, uh, the the pipe resonances and the wind sound and additive synthesis to give you the sort of timbre that uh, you might be looking for so that you can set up to 16 harmonics here and also a, a single sub harmonic. So if I turn down the uh, the musical pitched component, uh, the timbre, from this, and then we can hear just the pipe sound, which I'll turn it up to make it a little bit more prominent. Now we can set the the colour. And a flue pipe can be either open or stopped at the top. When you stop a flue pipe, the fundamental frequency halves and it moves from having a mix of odd and even harmonics to mostly odd harmonics. And that's simulated in this uh, um, system here. So that's open and that's stopped. So you would select 
um, open or stop depending on the type of pipe that you wish to simulate. When you're setting up a pipe sound you may want to be able to hear it with and without the wind to see what the effect is so you can turn the wind on and off to, to audition that. That's no wind effect. So you can hear the effect of the wind sound. And the wind sound itself intermodulates with the the timber from the harmonic generator. So you'll hear that uh, sort of slight wobble in the sound, uh, which is characteristic of the turbulence within the organ pipe itself. That's with the turbulence. And that's just the pitch. For those not familiar with organ terminology, uh, the footage refers to the approximate length of the pipe which plays two octaves below middle C, which on a classic five octave keyboards would be the bottom C. So eight foot would be the uh, unison pitch A equals 440. So I'm just playing middle C there. If I go down, so it goes down an octave, 32 foot, two octaves. Right, so this unison here doesn't mean playing lots of uh, oscillators in parallel. It means uh, A equals 440, or we can go up a, f a fifth. Uh, which is quite a useful detuning for um, for pipe organ sounds and it saves having to do that in the DAW so it's uh, a convenience button. Now on to the uh, Celeste knob. A Celeste is two or more ranks of pipes which are detuned slightly against each other. Typically organ designers uh, voiced the uh, the ranks to have, give roughly a two hertz beat um, between them so this only comes into play when you have uh, multiple ranks well at least two ranks playing together so you would detune one uh, plus one hertz and another one minus one hertz so on its own it's simply a detuning control so double click to zero that so if you don't want any celeste functions just leave that at uh, zero hertz the celeste detuning only functions from middle c and above because below that frequency the uh, hertz offset uh, grossly uh, affects the tuning so normally a celeste uh, would be on the higher notes and that's provided by this uh, method of limiting to middle C and above. These two keyboard scaling knobs uh, affect the odd and even harmonics separately. They don't affect the fundamental or if you're using a sub octave they don't affect that. If you turn them both up together it will give you um, to the same settings it will give you a progressive reduction of the higher harmonics um, across the keyboard uh, or you can set them differently which which can alter the um, the timbre across the keyboard it's quite a subtle effect but um, it's uh, hopefully useful for uh, for simulating real pipes. Now I'll talk a little bit about the uh, error system. Of course, uh, being a very organic uh, musical instrument, if you pardon the pun, uh, no two organ pipes will have exactly the same timbre and no pipe will be perfectly, absolutely perfectly in tune. So here you've got uh, 
you can have no error table or error table one two and three and these are fixed ranges of errors uh, so rather than being uh, a different error every time you press a key as in uh, you might get in a modern synthesizer uh, these are fixed tables so I'd recommend you if you have say three instances of the crook and rank you have a different error table for each one to give you a, a thicker sound so if I just turn down the odd and even for now and the tuning error is at a, a fairly low level so if we play octaves There are tuning errors there, but let's turn it right up to something silly. And you hear the the beating coming in for those two middle C and the top C. It may be different for another octave. Let's try G. Oops. So this is kind of a nice area, unless you want something to sound very out of tune. Okay. Now, as I mentioned, the, uh, the actual timber will vary slightly between uh, any two pipes. So here we can take the same error value and apply it to odd or even or both to give random or seemingly random uh, timber errors. So. Quite subtle, but when you have several ranks playing, or if you uh, switch on the couplers here, it gives you a nice, rich, slightly chorusy sound, uh, which is characteristic of uh, of a real pipe organ rank. With a, a, an organ of flu pipe, which is the whistle type rather than a vibrating reed type, the pressure when a note is pressed goes from zero to maximum and the pipe starts to speak. Um, but in that transition from zero to full pressure, uh, over, octave overtones will be briefly heard and this is referred to as the chiff. So I'll play uh, middle C without any chiff. So you can set the amount of chiff according to the uh, the other settings on the rank and uh, also the closeness to the pipes if you're a long way away in the body of the hall or cathedral or church you are likely to hear a little bit less chiff than if you're sitting close to them now one of the dreams of uh, the organ builder was, was builders was to uh, make a sound approximating that of the human voice, the vox humana, which uh, was never very successful in my opinion. But uh, based on information from the very excellent Colin Pikett, and there's a link to his excellent website in the uh, user guide, uh, this is uh, an emulation of the formant behaviour, which is a, a negative travelling formant so you need a range of higher harmonics in the mix and this is the sound you get with that put some couplers on
bring the formants up a little bit. Oh, a lot. And if you use your imagination, you can hear something slightly vocal about that sound. Um, usually, it's used with a so-called tremulant, which is an LFO uh, th which modulates uh, amplitude and pitch very slightly. Uh, in a real organ, it's done by modulating the wind pressure into the rank with a uh, mechanical motorized device or uh, a strange thing that vibrates up and down and is loaded with springs and weights and it's uh, very interesting ancient technology but when we had the tremulant we get this kind of sound you need to use a little bit less imagination maybe uh, to get that sort of uh, vocal type quality. A division or set of pie pranks enclosed in a seal box is called the swell division uh, normally has its own uh, manual. Now this enables the organist to add some uh, dynamic expression to his performance or her performance and uh, the effect of opening and closing the shutters is not only to um, control the amplitude but also the amount of muffling the frequency response. So if you turn on uh, swell, it's just to have maximum <laughs> So you hear the effect on the harmonic balance as well as the amplitude. So you can control that with a mouse, you can automate it from your DAW, or you can control it with a modulation wheel, and whichever one you touch last is the one that takes effect. So I'm using the mod wheel there. The mod wheel, that's the only thing that the mod wheel affects is the, uh, the swell. And if it's turned off, it doesn't do anything. This volume control here just does the tonal part from the harmonics generator. Uh, <coughs> now the scale button, when it's lit, gives you a more even impression of volume over the range of the keyboard. So if I just play a chord uh, low down... So if I turn this off, you can then hear that the higher notes are louder. Now this was taken care of in a real pipe organ by gradually reducing the diameter of the flue pipes as the pitch got higher. So I personally think it's a good idea to leave this turned on, but if you wish to use a graphic equalizer or some other means of uh, providing the same source, then you can turn it off and uh, use your own plugin for tone shaping. The Quirk and Rang has an onboard reverb which is uh, based on the wonderful FDN reverb by Martin Vikanik. I don't know if that's how you pronounce his surname, but he's an amazing guy. Uh, but if you have several instances instances of the plugin uh, you don't necessarily want the reverb to be running on each one so you can turn the reverb off there and I've provided with the download <coughs> a more sophisticated version of this um, reverb uh, which I've tailored to sound as closely as I can to real um, acoustic spaces so I'd recommend that you just put the quilk and pipe verb on uh, the master channel and turn the reverbs off on the uh, individual instances uh, but of course you may have your favorite uh, convolution reverb or whatever so you can choose what you want but there's no point if you've got three or four of these 
uh, instances running to have a reverb on each one doing essentially the same thing. So I'll uh, quickly show you the Quilk and Pipe Verb in action. This is, uh, I'll turn the reverb off there. And I've uh, got an instance of this, a single instance. And uh, and if you click on the Pipe Verb logo, you'll get a brief description of uh, how it works and what it does. There's no separate user guide for this. So I hope you have a lot of pleasure from playing with my organ. <laughs> and um, I just played out with the pipe verb running four instances of the Quilk and Rank and uh, the, it's the end of the uh, Toccata and Fugue, which I absolutely love.